Exposure max mask viewer. Um, okay, well, so let's do plot. It is a bridge device, partly from something old and partly from the other designed to see the signal. Okay, now we're getting into science fiction land. Um, oh, well, that this is gonna be fun. Oh, wait, now we have um, we have we have uh, um, instructions again. We have that's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Okay. Um, read an X value from in. Read a Y value from in. Okay, so you're going to give me an X and a Y, one after the other. Read a width value from in. Read a height value from in. Draw a rectangle of that size at the specified location. Oh, no. Okay. Um, all right. Graphics work. Yay. Um... Okay, so we're going to have um, read an x value from in, read a y value from in, then a width and a height, and then we want to draw a rectangle out. And then it's just, um, uh, it's already black for everything else, so we just want to draw a, a white rectangle wherever this is. How do we do that? We are going to uh, we're going to grab um, I guess like we have our X and Y so we start we start there and then we need to the X always stays the same the Y we need to increment by height amount. So I guess we have a choice. I could either loop through and just do a single like, okay, start here and do a row at a time, or I can do one pixel at a time. And I can say, okay, X, Y, there. I think that, that might work, right? So like X, Y, there. Put in a three minus one and then do the exact same thing as opposed to, OK, just do that, 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 then go. Like we have we have a choice here. Um, so. Down here, let's start with the beginning of the end. So we know we need an X and a Y handed in to us by somewhere else. We know we need the width coordinate of like where we currently are and the X. And, okay, the X and Y can use the width to calculate where to start. We kind of need to know, are we done? Because I don't want to increment the Y until all the X's are done. And then the X, so this is a, this is a classic double loop, right? So we're going to do a loop for Y, a loop for X, and a loop for Y. Banzi, hello. How are you doing today? This reminds you of Shenzhen IO. It's, uh, is it made, is Shenzhen also made by, is, is this electronics game? Who makes Shenzhen? Which I am I am mispronouncing that, I bet. I'm sorry. Uh yeah, Shenzhen is also Zactronics, so literally same company. Yeah. That's that's why it's so familiar. I got it down perfectly for a non-native. Excellent. That that makes me feel good. Uh, okay, so. Do 
that one's easy. Just to put in like a square at the top left. I need to loop through for each X, which means uh, I probably need a, we need a node for the X and then a node for the Y and then the X controls when it grabs from the Y. That, that makes sense, right? Because like I can do a loop in here, then another loop in like another one. We have a, uh, and then the width is going to be used for those two loops that we're doing. Okay, so what if, what if I were to send X to the left, width to the left, Y and a height to the right? Does that make any sense at all? Should I separate those? Or I could just do, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Um, okay, so do I want to just start with the very basic simple one, just draw a square up there, and then we're going to draw that, and then maybe we just draw that, and then we draw both. Uh, I don't know. Um, okay, let's let's try to like do the simplest possible thing. And also, I'm trying to like get myself, get my brain to like think about it and like figure out how I want to do this. Need to start the four variables somewhere. Yeah, and all we have is the left, right, up, and down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have left, right, um, ACC in the backup. And of course, this output down here. Uh, yeah, that's that's what we got. Um, all right. So, if I want to draw, let's say, okay, let's say I just want to draw this one down here, like the the beginning of our first one. Also, twenty three. If we're starting with zero. like 23 is it like this one that they're giving me to begin with i don't think they're they're not giving me this one to begin with that's interesting uh okay so move up something and that is x move up something that is Y. Move up something, and that is width. So we can just do W. And that is height. OK. And then, then we're going to loop through and do the same thing again. So then we're just going to send them out to their appropriate places. Yeah. Oh, it looks like the third square. OK. At 30, so 15 here, right? So it's it's hard to tell, but yeah. Oh, and with this four, you're right. With this four. Or even the one under the, yeah, it could be, it could be. It's it's hard to tell, but it doesn't really matter. All we know is it's not that one. <laughs> they're not they're not being nice to us in that way. Uh okay, so um, I, so we get our X and we get our Y. Now the X and the, the X and the width are, they're paired together. And then the Y and the height are paired together. So it goes to reason they probably should be sent to the same place. So if I move up and left and I move Y down, then probably you're going to go left again and you go down. So in that case, with our X, we grab you, and I want to, this is going to be our starting X, so I need to make sure I don't lose it. 
So let's move right to ACC and save it immediately so that I don't lose it. Now I want to take our right, move it to ACC, and then I want to start subtracting start subtracting start subtracting from width and whenever i yeah i, I want to sub start subtracting from width so we're gonna have this is gonna be in it then we have our run Whenever I we subtract, okay, so we subtract from width, which we know is an ACC, so we sub one. As long as we are, if we are now less than zero, I don't want to send this down anymore. So we're going to jump if we're less than zero, we're going to jump to end. I don't know if I want to to in it again, I, I might want to. Uh, Otherwise, we want to swap to get our X back. I want to send this down, so move ACC down, and I want to add one to the X. So that moves it slowly to the right. And then we want to jump back to run. If we're done, I guess like we're moving ACC down. So this is moving down. So really, I probably do want to jump back to in it. And which then gets the next, we're done with this square, right? We're done with the X for this specific square. So then we want to do the same thing with the Y over here. So we have our init. We're going to move left to ACC, save it. Move left to ACC. We have a run. Uh, we're going to sub one. We're going to do the exact same logic here. Uh, if we're less than zero, we're going to go back to init. Um, we're going to swap in what our value is. We're going to move ACC down. Uh, we're going to add one and jump back to run. Okay, so now that's grabbing. So this is now calculating new X and Ys. So if I move up, right, move left, down okay so we have x and y here so i want to start with u so we're going to do move left down move up down move three down move negative one down. And then we're going to do that. Just keep on doing it over again. Oh, deadlock right away. Uh, okay, so move right to ACC. Oh, I need to... Hmm. What's going on with this? Why move up? Oh, wait, I did down. 
These need to be right. Okay. And we got, we got some things drawn out to the screen. Um, looking at the numbers that are coming out, those do look very different. But not quite correct. What's the first thing that goes out? Okay, so I put 23 out. So this can be the 23x. And then we're going to put 10x. Okay, so 10, we're going to say, hey, be a 3. And then a negative 1 to, re to reset. And so that's there. Okay, so actually, this is, this is that first square, 23, 10. We were both wrong on that. Oh, and uh, I think ads are going to start in a couple minutes. When, I, when that happens, I'm going to take a quick break because we've been going out for a couple hours. So then the next one is going to be three and four. And so we move zero down and that becomes here. Okay. Oh, but look at this. We then do 23 and 10 again. So that's a problem we're repeating here. So what's happening up here? We get our 23x in here, which is the first x. We're saving it. And then we're moving the next, the, the width, which is going to be 4. over into here. Okay. We sub one, so that becomes a three. If we're less than zero, we in it, we're not. So we're gonna swap to 23. We move 23 down, we add one. Oh, and then we jump. So we need to, before we jump, we need to swap. You can put multiple colors in the same command. It will be put as a horizontal line. Yeah, I, we saw that last time. Um, okay, so then this... Okay, we're, we're getting the diagonals. Did we get a deadlock? Looks like we got a deadlock. We, did the, we got the diagonals. So now we need to figure out how to do the... Oh, ad starting right now. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. Quick break, uh, and then um, we'll be back for uh, to continue with this. We're getting the diagonals of at least um, a couple of these boxes, I think. So that's that's a good sign. Um, but we want to move on all of the x's before we move on all of the y's. Okay. So, anyways, um, that's gonna be next. Break time, and then um, I will see you all in like three or four minutes or so, or however long it takes for the ads on Twitch to run. Which it says that they're starting soon, uh, and I can't snooze them anymore. So any second now. Uh, regardless, I'm gonna I'm gonna start my break now. Oh, no music again? Oh, it crashed again. Well, that's too bad. Let's fix that. Um, right, so we can do the multiple colors in the same command. So 
I kind of want to figure out how to... Um, now, this is the X, right? So I don't want to move to the next Y until the X is done, right? Which I could... Um, welcome back, everybody. Um, okay, so I don't want to move until the next y until the current x is done what i could do is i could move um we can move left to acc we can save it so we probably need like a, a start on this We're going to move left to ACC. We're going to save that so we have it in a back backup. And then I want to, um, as soon as this changes, so when it's no longer the same, actually, you know what? It would make a lot more sense if this is just painting. I just want to make this one super simple. So hold on. I want to. You're just as far as this knows, hey, whatever the, the whatever the X and Y is, just put that down here. And so I want to. What I would like to do is have the Y be the same until the X is done. How do we how do we end up doing that? The X is staying is the X actually staying the same here? I don't think it is, right? We are we're just, oh, I'm, I'm, I am adding the X. Okay, so the X is actually correct. Oh, but I need to go, we're gonna need to go back to the original X. Oh, to start over again, we don't have that. This is not gonna work. We're gonna get the top line, but not resetting everything. Oh, okay. Well, at least we can get the top line. That might be something. So we want, we only need ever need to go through the Y's once, but slowly. We need to go through the X's multiple times. Uh, and so I, I need some system to tell it to start over again, but with the same original values that it had previously, which is not great. I might need to use something like this as the, uh, uh, which we could, we could use one of these as a, like a storage. And just like re resend it over to me again. Um, okay, so uh, if I were to do this, okay, so we're getting the diagonals now. Why isn't getting all the diagonals? That's that's one question. It's getting these. It's moving left to down, left, moving up right. Okay, so you're trying to move ACC down. Huh, so you're trying to just move them down too. Did I send you multiple? How how did how did that end up happening? In the last node, read X then Y and print them and read W and loop printing until 23 until AC is zero. Read the X and Y and print them, then read W and loop printing three. Um, 
Well, I have the wait. I have the ace. Oh, you're you're right. You still we still have the break. Thank you for that. Uh, there, fix it. Thank you. Um. Okay. So in the last node, read X and Y. Okay. Yeah. So we read X. We read Y. Um. And then print them. So that would be print like that. And then loop printing three until ACC is zero. What, it, what would my ACC be? Would it be the X? It would be the X, right? But it would be the width. It'd be the width. Okay, so I need... Oh, so I need the width. So... Move up left. Move up right. Move up left. Move up right. So then I need to store the width. So... Move up. ACC. Move ACC. Um left move acc down so you're gonna get you are gonna get the this one first so we're gonna do move up down oh this sucks um okay let's do this move up down So now we know this is the width, right? So move up right. So we can do move up right, move left right. So the first one we get is hopefully gonna be. No, we know, we know. The first one we're gonna get here is gonna be the width. Do I want it to be the width? I don't want it to be the width, don't I? I want the other one to be the width. So move left, right, move up, right. So we move left down, move up, down. Um, we printed those. I want a loop. We're going to inner loop. We want to. Uh, nope, we do this one. Move left, ACC. Then in our loop, we're going to sub one. Oh, we're going to move. I guess we'll just move three down. Um, we'll sub one if we're greater than. OK, so if we're equal to zero, we um, jump to end. Otherwise, jump to loop. And we have end here. And then once that's done, we start over again. So if we do that. OK, so that gets our first. The, the top bar for here. OK, so that's good. Now you're moving left to ACC and you're trying to move up right. Oh, so we have a deadlock. Oh, fun. Okay. I want this to just be always the left X's, don't I? I never want this to be more than that. So our X's here are now going to be more interesting. I never need to do any of this logic, do I? I just want to move the X over. Just 
just always move the X down. So what if I just do move right down? I don't need to store. Okay, so move up left. That's the X. Move up right. That's the Y. Move up to this can now be move up down. The height. We don't do anything with ACC. Move up right. Okay. Is that okay? That still does that. That's good. Um, you now are attempting to move up to the right, but you've gotten to move ACC down. You're trying to move down, move left to ACC. You're trying to move up to the right again, uh, which is the width. Now I got to the end, right? So I saw I got to the end of this one. And then I want to move left down. I need this to repeat for the next line over and over and over again. So I got the I got the wrong one. How do I get this to repeat and not do up right and just left right? And is that actually what I want? So we go through this entire system and we have four coming in here. Wait, what? Move left down. Move left right. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so everything's waiting. Then you're finally you're okay, you're moving, so twenty-three is coming in here. Okay, 23 goes out, which is that X. And then the next thing that should go out is the Y. Okay, so 10. So that's our, our X and Y. And then we move left, which is our width into here. Now you're looking to go the X again. But this is now the X of the second box, which this needs to be the X of the first box again. So that's a problem. You, okay, so we move three down until that hits zero. We're end. We move our negative one down, so we're done with the line. Okay, and then we go back, and now it's seventeen that we're sending, which is the B, which is the X of the next, the next one. But I don't want the next one. I want the X of the first one again. So while this is the same, oh, and this is going to be this is the other thing. As I want both the width and the, the X to be the same. So basically I want to move these right along until they change.
No, that doesn't even make any sense. Um, uh, okay, so hold on. Now, your problem is... See, I started with a new X. So move F to... Yeah. Now move up, down is 11. So I start with that. Move left. Oh, and this is where we run into the problem. Okay, so our Y calculation is still on the diagonal. That's, that's still a problem. So I want to now, I want to repeat the Y until we're done with the, the line. Now we're going through all of these, right? So what if I don't, we need, you need one or more cells that generate X, then Y for, then width for each line. Well, we have the width for each line, because that comes down here, right? What I what I need to do is reset the X after we go through the width. Yeah, loop, loop, loop X H times. It'd be W times, right? Like width times? Or is it, is it loop it, is it loop at height times? Oh, it is height times. It is height times. Okay, so if I have the height Okay, so let's say we have X going left, Y going right, width going down. What if we also send height down? So we know that this is width. Height, okay. Um, well, this is fun. Now I want to loop X, Y times. So um, I want to keep we want to keep the X exact. Well, no, no. So here's the problem. X does change. X changes every time we run it and get it. So I need to make sure I'm looping through X to prevent it from changing until we do want it to change for the next box. And this is the reason why we need to loop through X, Y times. We're gonna need to use swap pretty liberally, yeah. Okay, so let's actually move height left. So now we can do this here, right? So we can just say, I want to, we want to take, we just grab this, right? Okay, so I want to, I mean, I could also, you know what? Should I also just send this to the left? X and Y. Okay, so we. So we're going to move right to ACC and save it into our swap or into our backup. Now we're going to have our height. And so for the height, so then we're going to move right to ACC. Um, and so that's our, that's our start. We've initialized everything. 
So then I want to move into reducing this. So then this is our decumulator, our um, run essentially. I want to now, that's our height down. So I want to subtract one. I want to move, I want to sub, uh, I want to swap, move ACC down. Swap, sub one, jump if equal to zero. Okay, so if it's greater than zero, go to run. So back to run, we're going, we're going down again. Otherwise, you go back to start. So I think, I think that'll work. And so then this will just be move up, down, move up, right, move left, right. So this is, this is our X now. Our X coming in. So uh, for our Y, Uh, so our X coming in, and so then we say, okay, move, move X down, move our Y down. So this is our X. This needs to be our Y. Um, move left into. So okay, then this needs to be our width. So then we need to move up right. That needs to be the width. So. We move up left, move up right, move down. Okay, so our width goes down. And now up right. Okay, so then uh, we get the we get the width once. That goes in here, then we loop. So we move we move the color white down. Uh, we subtract one from our width. If we're equal to zero, we end. Otherwise, we jump back to the loop. Okay, that, wor that works. And then if we're ending, we move negative one down and then we start the entire thing over again, our Y. So our Y needs to uh, do the exact same thing, except we need to continuously add one as opposed to just being exactly the same. So, um, we get the Y from the left. So move left, the ACC. I want to, so this will be our start. And then we're going to have our loop. I want to move ACC down. Add one. Now, I need to know when, when, okay, we need our height, don't we? So when we're done with our height, we no longer need, we want to start back at the beginning again. So we don't just have, we need to send our height left and right. So move up ACC move ACC left so that's height multiple times okay so we have move left ACC so that the first one is the Y um, which means then we have to save you uh, and then we have to move left ACC and now our that's our height. Then we move into our loop, so we have to swap, move the ACC down, um, swap, oh geez, okay, so 
swap, move the ACC down, add one, so that it's a high, it's a, it's the next Y. Uh, swap again. We want to now sub one. If we're um, greater than zero, go back to the loop. Otherwise, start over again. Um, I wonder if that's going to work. No, definitely not. Okay, so we're stuck in... Move left to ACC, but you're trying to move uh, up to right. You're trying to move up to down. You're trying to move up left. Deadlock. And you're trying to move ACC down. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so... Why did this order go? I'm not... Okay, so up left. So, okay, we have... Two to the left. So, move two from the right. Uh, we have one down. One, two to the right. Huh, okay. This moves to to the right. Okay, so this captures both of those. Pretty sure you need to send H times as well. Oh, send the width H times as well. Oh. Because we need to run this H times. Oh. Okay. You're right. So then we need to move ACC down. Okay, so we need to, we start with width coming in here. So we need to move up to ACC and that's our width. We need to save it. So now our width is in backup. We need to move up to ACC. That's our height. Um, we then need to move into our loop. We want to say we want to swap. And now we have our height. Um, no, now we have our width in ACC, so we're going to move ACC down. And I don't want to change that, so we're going to swap back to height. We're going to sub 1. Then we're going to check to see if you're greater than 0, go to loop. Otherwise, start over again. Hey, look at that. Okay, thank you, Kevin. I think that was exactly it. So now we're drawing out rectangles. That's actually pretty cool to watch that, draw that. All right, but we will go through fast. Um, okay. <laughs> 